uh, that's too simple, so uh, I just been to play it. This is for Grim World. It's some kind of German uh, who's a fan of uh, Grim Tales. Um, he also has several expansions, uh, which I find very intriguing. It's a dark uh, world laying uh, game adventure where you where you walk around, you have encounters that are not always combat. It's it sounds fantastic, uh, probably is full of errors, but uh, I'll give it a try. This is uh, the design I made for Jacket Alliance, uh, the extra polish miniatures. Um, they didn't come with the box, well they came with the box, but it is pretty useless. So I'm going to uh, glue this over the cover, so I know, uh, uh, well I have to design uh, um, a holder for the minis that so that the minis don't uh, um, don't get damaged uh, but uh, <laughs> it will be an evening of, uh, of work now memoir 44 um, I love the game uh, I have a lot of uh, expansions uh, printed already uh, in, in the last years but I have nobody to play it with uh, so it's a very sad story um, but the there are AI uh, attempts. Uh, what is this? Um, so I hope to um, to make use of what I printed. Uh, to um, no idea what this is for. Um, this also is something uh, that you roll and decide what to do for the enemy plans. Place the cards that you would choose to play, then roll a battle die. The symbol rolled will be the card that is played, so one of these. Uh, return the other two cards to the hand and draw a new card. And it might work, it might not work. Um, the memoir cards are hard to take out, so it's useful to have um, some kind of um, yeah, tuck box, and this is a design for a tuck box. Nations, oh my god, Nations. Uh, Nations is such a good game, um, but nobody wants to play it. Uh, so I uh, took uh, Nations AI from uh, Borkin Geek, I put the source in, in it, and then I made it something decent. Um, so set up uh, your turn, AI turn, scoring, and here are the high scores. What more could you, could you ask? Well, it wasn't in the BGG. They didn't think of it, so I had to uh, update it. Okay, uh, this. Damage cannot be prevented by dodge or kiting. This happened before heroic skills. So a warrior could take the damage in order to, to gain and then use a heroic skill with a die with frenzy. You may guess for three turns which game this is. <laughs> okay, uh, what is this? Uh, the captain's bot turn to execute a roll prioritizes loading goods from the type that has the most to least quantity. Uh, deliver goods, traders, sell goods, major. This is the Puerto Rico Automata. Um, I have Puerto Rico is one of, one of my very first games, and uh, there is no AI for it. And some guy just made an AI, and this is the old page for the AI. Roll camera. This is just for the front, uh, because of I uh, made a PNP game and I needed a box and I needed uh, the, the cover for the box. So this is it. Sagrada Solitaire variant. Sagrada was my very first um, Kickstarter backing. It was a great success and that was uh, the worst thing that can happen to you, because then you start backing everything that is loose and, uh, and bolted uh, tight. Um, but it has a solitaire variant, variant that um, nobody actually liked or nobody could beat, and there were problems uh, with it. There are several attempts to uh, make a solitaire variant, and well, this is one of them, and it should have been printed on A5. Never mind, 
uh, Spell Saga, you've seen this before. Uh, this is for the box cover. Nothing special. This is also uh, for the box cover. Also for uh, Preludes. This is also for the box cover. The Realm Walker, also for the box cover. And so there are three boxes inside of a bigger box. Um, that will be a challenge. Uh, Tuck box for the Realm Walker. Maybe I'll just use the boxes. I don't know. Um, you can see it's low uh, low resolution. I don't really care. Um, I asked. Uh, I contacted the guy who made a Spell Saga, and he promised to send me some um, some extra copies, but it never happened. Um, this is also, I can make this into a box, I can make this into a box and I can make this into a box, but it's uh, uh, lower on my priorities. And some extra, the Highlands is the first expansion of the base game and maybe one day I will get to it. Okay, uh, advanced difficulty, what the hell is this? Splendor! Okay, so this is an, uh, apparently the last page of the AI of Splendor. Um, <laughs> the Shield of Achilles. Achilles? Uh, Achilles. Uh, um, the Shield of Achilles is a PNP arcade, a free print and play, and so I thought, well, why not spend nine cents uh, on a single page so you can play it at least twice. Um, the object of the game, <coughs> I haven't played it obviously, um, is to fill in with colors the um, the the parts of the Shield of Achilles, and the uh, Shield of Achilles is a uh, a full chapter or in um, the the masterpiece of Homer uh, about the Iliad uh, or uh, which is the other word for Troy and there was just so much text devoted to uh, how this was set up and the thought behind just a stupid little shield and it's that makes it so um, uh, special because most of the time you play in fi fantasy games like a dwarf with a shield and a plus two shield and stuff like that and here it is just about uh, the single shield and uh, pff, don't know what this is about it shows Calabra okay so this is uh, not Britannia but it's Ultima the nine card game um, and yeah, that's also, I think, a PNP arcade thing. Oh, viticulture. Viticulture, a lot of problems. Uh, a very random game. Um, the problem is the single tier decks, uh, which are always evil. And um, uh, you can um, make it a better game if you uh, split the decks into uh, early game cards and on the bottom the uh, later game cards and then you have a masterpiece but then you also need somebody to, to play with now the uh, there is an AI system in uh, Viticulture uh, Essential Edition however uh, it feels a little bit stiff um, and here there is a guy Adrian uh, also from Board Game Geek and a guy co called Kalos Adrian has made it a little bit more dynamic. Um, I uh, I re re edited it a little bit to make the well, to <laughs> to remove the typos and to make it something decent. Uh, the scoring on the below is wine tycoon decisive victory, minor victory, defeat, and crushing defeat. And here you can put the variant in initials and there the dates. And there you have it, uh, something addictive, hopefully. Okay, uh, year end additional steps. Okay, what is this? This is another AI. Um, it's the Bianco and Lucia or something. Um, it's uh, seven pages. 
uh, also for Viticulture Essential Edition. And in that uh, that version, you have two opponents, two AIs, who play um, more or less together against you. So it would be quite interesting to uh, to, to film this uh, in the near future. Uh, Viticulture Solitaire Campaign sh score sheet. I thought, why not print this uh, Tuscany? I don't need it because I don't have Tuscany. I don't want Tuscany. Viticulture Solitaire Campaign score sheets. I don't know why did I print this. Uh, it's more or less the same. And here we have it again for Tuscany. Okay, useless. Um, no Tuscany for me. And now to see for me. So I c you can use the mistakes you make because we are all mortals uh, to um, uh, glue the, uh, on the back of uh, Arkham Horror cards. Uh, so that the campaign. Okay, we've seen this before. Warhammer Quest, the adventure card game. Oh my God, this is so long ago. I have all the expansions, uh, and I mean everything from the fan. Uh, fan sites of Board Game Geek. Uh, it was, yeah. <laughs> One day I will show you. And uh, work, I'm across the Twitch card game has a problem with the rules. That's the weakest part. Um, so this is for uh, helping you along if you haven't played it for years. Okay, some of the fan expansion cards for uh, our Warhammer Quest. I mean, these become cards that you can shuffle in, right? Um, the mutated things uh, are for, and a lot of zombie hordes, etc., are for a single uh, an unpleasant delivery or something uh, with uh, exploding bodies, and uh, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but you need the Priestess of Shalia to cure you from Nurgle's disease. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, limited uh, in that uh, respect, um, but I have about 15 or 20 heroes, so I can play with uh, another hero to play two-handed uh, 15 or 20 times the same uh, campaign. I also found some ideas to I've uh, I formulated some ideas to to make it uh, less deadly. Um, if you can say ab something about the card game and less deadly, I mean um, you use minus one to the location restriction, so you go can go a little bit faster uh, through.